This is my first time to visit a Nyao house. Uh, my name is Waninga Ronald. What I heard is just my father was killed in that prison of Nyao. Dark history retold by the voices of another generation inside the Nyao house torture chambers where days were then said to be as dark as nights and Tuesday was no different. This name is of uh, my father and uh, he was called Waninga George and the only name which is missing here is uh, George. Then maybe in last years of him he was used to be called Waninga Wepoko and this one, this, this MK stands for Makanya. Now we have sat a minute silent for in remembrance of and it was in memory of once such young men like Makanya and those whose struggle had the inflictions of human rights violation written all over the walls that are the Nyayo House cells that the Truth, Justice and Reconciliation Commission's hearings were Tuesday held at the Nyayo House torture chambers. The special branch were all over the place. Kangede Mungai, one of the torture survivors, telling of a cause they were willing to give their lives for when Kenya was under a dictatorial regime. Went out to create publications that uh, were now speaking freely about what was going on in the country. And these publications were, there was one that we called Mpatanishi. And Mpatanishi was uh, for our own internal education, educating the cadres of uh, the struggle. And then there was another one for mass consumption that was called Pabana. The vision for Kenya by such long-time activists, seeing them eventually pay a price. I still remember the words they were, they were telling me as they walked me to the police station in Gilgit. Kijana utaongea. Kijana utaongea kijana. So I quickly went to the edge of the bridge and dived down on the road to the road below. Uh, I wanted to, to die than face torture in, in this place. He was a wanted man by none other than the state what would see him tortured for days on end while in solitary confinement. So they kept telling me that, Kangede, you give us information, you talk to us, we'll take you to hospital. You don't talk to us, we will break the other leg and the other arm. But in fact, all, all of us, the three of us, Karimi Tirop and myself, were looking forward to the day when we would go to prison. And prison they did go, Kangede Mungai serving six years in what would easily have been a 12-year jail sentence if it had not been for the mothers of political prisoners outcry. And the struggle somewhat continues years on. See what can be done so that uh, compensation is uh, paid without having to go to court. With victims seeking such measures as prosecution for a litany of human rights abusers for those involved and the preservation of the torture chamber for posterity as the TJRC hearings continue. The commission's embattled chair, Bethwell Kiplagat, was visibly missing from the hearings after a much publicized fallout with the commissioners. Salim Bilu, Citizen Live at 9.